What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Um, today, we're going to be doing a deck profile on my Harley Quinn deck that I just took to a 3-0 finish at the weekly webcam Wednesday that I host uh, right here on the channel. Um, you can find that... Um, uh if you are interested in playing, you can find links to the events in my Discord, which you can find in the description of this video. But without further ado, let's jump in. So, um, Harley, Harley, um, Death Harley, let's go gambling using the combined firepower, risky encounter kind of idea um, with a bit of a twist and a twist that I really, really like. And I'm excited to, to get that for you. So, um, if you've seen any other Let's Go Gambling decks, um, it is, they're very, it's very similar, but it's got enough twists that, that we'll, we'll do it. So seven, uh, Harley is a seven hand size, 19 health character that says, while I have five unique uh, keywords in the card pool, all of my moves get plus one speed and plus one damage. And it does even work while she's committed. So I can spend her in that way. And then her other ability says mill three cards, colon. If the cards that I milled have six unique keywords in them, I may pick one of the keywords. Uh, I might commit her in order to pick one of those uh, cards of the keyword up. We don't necessarily care about picking the cards up. We do. There's one card that we really want to pick up, which we'll talk about whenever we get there. But the the goal of this is on every attack I play, my attack, your attack, I'm milling three cards because I want to load up my discard pile for the for the payoffs that I get there. So without further ado, let's jump into the list itself. So for the attack lineup, um, starting off with uh, the classic, it's Twisting Azure Inferno. This card is too powerful, too strong with the actions that we have available to us. This is a little bl little blurry. I'm going to try and fix it just a smidge. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, specifically, combined firepower with this card is just not fair uh, after i play combined respond to twisting you get plus two damage i then mill with uh combined if i find a singular non-foundation card it gets the seventh damage it needs to make the checks easier to play and this is our main speed pump of the deck we have to have this one in order to um in order to feel um uh in order to uh push through our actual real kill condition so this is this is a four mid four sometimes 16 poke <laughs> at the lead in attack um this one's incredible you you gotta 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 play it in fact it probably shouldn't exist the next one is um dual needle lunge uh this is here exclusively for a five damage move that gets me a free momentum this deck wants to go in on its kill turn with a singular momentum stealing it somehow normally it's with dual needle lunge but it's also a foundation that we could talk about um uh sequencing wise normally the way that you play dual needle is you play it as the first attack of the turn but if we have twisting i actually want to play twisting first so that this thing gets one pseudo speed if that makes sense um this card does mill two car uh, mill two cards yeah mill two cards but it only mills off of my rivals deck so i cannot i cannot mill more with uh with with what we've got going on and it also has three random keywords if i milled these two cards off of hartley i would get to pick one of them up you're gonna see see this it's it is difficult it's a little difficult to pick up with harley but the, the keywords are eclectic enough that that it it does make some uh, make some stuff happen the next uh, card that we have is another flow card that is this instant shining flash. This card was fine, probably the weakest attack out of my deck. It probably could have, should have just been replaced with something that's a little stronger. Um, but its entire identity is just to make the next card that I play, the next attack that I play, a little easier. As well as it happens to have three different keywords. If I milled either of these two uh, uh cards when i milled my instant shining flash i would get to pick one of them up um and there is the um uh, there's the there's the idea it's a one low block it didn't matter i killed everybody or i died on turn two every single game we didn't make it past turn 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 two uh next onto the actual offense of the deck we've got four battle or release it's not a death deck unless you have four of these bad boys um this card says flip one of my foundations which i have a lot of blank or unuseful foundations in my stage that we'll talk about um in order to draw a bonus card for a little bit more consistency and then it gives itself a lot of stats um sometimes if we pop off later on in the turn it can even give itself plus eight damage it felt very very strong um Cards just cards very very good. If you don't have a play set of Battle Aura, you should probably probably pick one up. Um, also, sadly, it does have the same two keywords as Twisting Azure Inferno. It's probably the the weakest synergistic part with what Harley has got going on is the fact that these two match. 
Um, up next, we've got the main kill condition of the deck, and that is Risky Encounter. Triple Risky, I only own three. I only felt like I needed three, especially with how quick we got to mill with, with Harley's ability. Um, this card came in and won half of my games tonight. Um, it is just a huge bomb that is a three difficulty move. This card is crazy. This card is cracked. This card is a $20 rare for a reason. This card is very, very strong. Um, also has three keywords. It means I can pick some stuff up with Harley. Do I ever want to pick this one up? No, it wants to be the discard pile. Um, but if I need that one high block, I could certainly, I could do it on defense. And then the last card, the real reason to make this a Harley deck rather than pretty much any other character, it's just big freaking explosion. This is what we want this momentum for. I want to move in with my with my string, like the perfect string. Uh, let's explain this one first. Um, spin a momentum, mill three. This gets a damage for every, um, every attack in my discard pile. If when I milled my three uh, cards, if they were all three attacks, it hits me at the end of the uh, at the at resolution for half its damage. The most important thing about this is this card has four keywords. Four keywords that are hard to find: ally, uh, spell, and tech. Very very hard to find. If I mill any any cards except for these ones, because these have ranged, I get the. I get the card because this has EX tech and weapon. So it, it has EX2 weapon ally range spell uh, and, and the tech again. And so like if as long as I mill this and any of and either of these cards, whoop, 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 whoop. if I mill this and a combination of one of these three different ones, I get to pick the, the BFE up, uh, which did happen twice tonight and won me games. So let's talk about the lines that we want to do with BFE. It's very simply, it is like I play uh, Twisting in order to make my moves a little harder to block. I then play um, Dual Needle Lunge in order to snag myself a momentum. I then play a really threatening Battle Aura release so they want to block the 8 damage move. And then I play Big Freaking Explosion and I got this card up to 29 damage tonight. 29. The last key thing is because Harley is looking for five unique keywords in the card pool, all of my moves get plus one, plus one. And so as soon as BFE hits the card pool, it takes care of four. It, it's never a five high for five in my deck. It's always a six high for six. And this ability is playable while committed. And so like, like this is like the perfect chain. And if this doesn't kill you, this one out of the discard pile will. And so like it's twisting into duel, into battle aura, into BFE, into risky encounter. And so now you can see why this one's just like a flow card in the middle. But this is this is the line that we want to play pretty much every every attack string. And we're weaving in a ton of other cards that you will a ton of other cards and abilities that you'll see as well. So moving on, I'm gonna keep one of each of these attacks so that I may reference them. Um, uh, oh, I need one more. Sorry, sorry. Okay, moving on, we have the action suite. The best action in the deck, bar none, is just combined firepower. Um, it is a mini Harley that gives damage. So I'm going to play it out of my hand, or if I've removed a card out of my discard pile, which we'll talk about, I'm allowed to play it. Uh, or I've removed a card from the game this turn. I can play this um, from my discard pile. It gives things a bunch of extra damage, and its main job is to make this thing scary so that they block it, so they use resources. Make either of these high attacks scary so that my two big bombs come in afterwards and they actually matter, right? So every attack that I'm playing is double digits. Or it's just to fill my discard pile so I have more options of, of cool ideas later. Uh, the next one is avoiding the conflict, and this starts our identity of cards that when they enter the discard pile, remove from the game. So this card is very good when combined with uh, Twisting, whenever I play it as the action itself, because it gets uh, Twisting gets the plus two damage and I redraw and I can, I can try and find more stuff. But more importantly, when I mill with Harley on defense, I can mill uh, an avoiding conflict, respond, remove it for minus two speed, and then respond with the combined out of my discard pile in order to block your move. So Harley, for free, said minus two speed, find a free mid block. Pretty good, <laughs> pretty good. And that's not even talking like what this does for the plus two damage on, on offense. Um, next, uh, we have our foundations because that's that's all we don't play any assets in, in this deck. We we have we have got too much gas that we have to we have to find. Um, next, we are talking about the um, 
remove the gambling aspect of the deck and that is in order for this deck to work we have to remove um or we have to find um uh we have to find uh the foundations that when they enter the discard pile they remove and the first one is simply loss of consciousness this card says after it enters the discard pile um you get to selectively remove a uh, or seal a card in your rival stage. I use this offensively. I use this defensively. This is the number one gambling card that we have in the deck because this is the card that says that the answers that my rival rival uh, has, I will find them and I will remove them. I will get rid of them. Up next, we have I'm with you. This card is says response remove. Um, uh, this deck is plus two or minus two damage. Another great hit. Very similarly to uh, Avoiding Conflict that I can do with Harley. I will mill through with Harley, find this, respond, remove for minus two damage. Now I don't even have to necessarily block it. What if I was sculpting an attack turn? It feels very good. And then the last one we have is Triple Unabashed Manor. It's only a three of because it's the worst one. And it says after it enters, my next attack gets two damage, which is scary, right? But like... Um, if I need this card to get the, the plus stats, then I, I want it to be on this attack, not the next attack. Uh, sometimes it's a little tough to, to make this and weave this in and trigger, but more damage is more damage, and that's that's what we need for our character. Up next, we've got uh, the flow cards, because the aggro part of the deck take care of, takes care of itself. The attacks are, uh, are incredible, incredible aggro. The, uh, the foundations are all about flow. So we have Titan's Pursuit as our, uh, as our uh, tech target, or our, our first flow card. And it is exclusively to get a momentum for a big freaking explosion. Hey, this uh, Twisting Ezra Inferno is a four mid four 10. Do you wanna block it? Yes, okay. Well, that means that on this turn, you have now turned on my big freaking explosion and this one's gonna be for 30. Sorry, you shouldn't have blocked the 10 damage twisting. How silly are you? Um, this card is just an incredible, incredible flow card. Um, it is the reason that we that we kind of get to play Harley because she has the chaos attuned, right? And that is that is what is pushing this this idea above the, the other ones. Up next, we've got four latent skill. This is here to hand fix. This is also here to take and toss these if they enter the discard pile cards um, into the discard pile from my hand. If I draw, if I draw two of these, I now get to flip selectively uh, seal two of your cards, redraw two cards, and respond with every combined firepower in my discard pile. It's very very strong. <laughs> Um, up next, we've got Settling Old Debts. Uh, this card was blank. Um, I never had six foundations. I killed you when I had five foundations or less. This card should have just been a zero diff to try and make my building a, a little better, even if it was the zero diff blank cards. This should have been anything else. Anything else. This is the number one change. As soon as I can, I'm instantly changing this card. This card should have been something else. Up next, I've got four Botons coaching. Um, it's, it, it is a mini version of a latent skill of we're both going to discard redraw, but it's a zero diff rather than the two diff. Um, this card felt great. This card was super good. It's, it is uh, necessary. It could be a different zero diff, but we really want that discard redraw. Up next, the sleeper of the deck is Foresight. So we don't have a real way on our character and a lot of our board in order to um, find... Um, in order to find ways to remove so that we can play the ability on combined firepower. And sometimes we need it in order to trigger our Twisting Azure Infernos. Um, and so what Foresight says is I can remove it to look at the top card of either one of our decks. Normally it's just me. I don't want to give the free information to them. And then I get to respond for plus two damage on the Twisting and then start the loop in order to try and, and shove more riskies and more attack cards into my discard pile. And so this card as a panic button can get the whole thing started. And then the um, last two cards of the deck, we've got defensive, we've got surviving the final, easily could have been um, uh, the uh, settling old debts, could just be a fourth copy of this. Um, it felt okay, um, but like 
I used it to block maybe one, maybe two times. But again, this card's pretty blank. And then lastly, the last two cards that we have are just double always cool. A panic button if you are going to try and kill me. I can respond and say, hey, you don't get the damage buff. Or if you, if I'm going to disrespect you on turn two, I can add it up into my card pool and then build the top two cards of my stage face down. Maybe that pushes me to the six foundation threshold. So I can accidentally just play two tasties or uh, two riskies instead of the one with that said that's harley that is the let's go gambling uh harley quinn deck there are a lot of characters that can kind of wear this shell um, um something very similar like we saw uh toga one doing um i did it under harley you can do it if you like a little bit more health with things like vash um not the brave there's a lot of different characters that can that can utilize this identity of these cards together there's a risky here somewhere i'm sure um this this just this killer attack package but with that said thank you much for uh for for watching the video um if you like this video and you want to come play some webcam games make sure you check out webcam wednesdays you can find all that information in the description of the video down below with that said you guys thank you for watching and as always i wish you well